A very good morning and thank you for keeping us company. This is Y in the morning and Y254 is the station. Uh, react to our social media platforms by sending us your questions or reactions uh, to Y254 channel on social media. My name is Dereva Hillary and this morning we are talking about the COVID-19 or succession politics that is what is happening. We are trying to fight COVID-19 but of course we have politics going on. This morning the president President is meeting uh, the senators from the Jubilee Party. Uh, we had uh, some field in Parliament on Wednesday, and uh, we want to put things into perspective. What's really happening, and what will happen by the end uh, of this year, and so much so after fighting the COVID-19. What next? Remember, there was an ongoing campaign about the uh, Constitution amendment. Will it happen? what is looming to the president i'm speaking to don anaklet he's a political analyst he will help us to put things into perspectives and understand so much uh, of the things that are being said out here keep it y254 and welcome to the program good morning sir Good morning. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share my ideas on this great platform. It has been a while since I heard you here on a different, different show that is, and uh, ah, a lot has happened. And uh, we are just one day shy of the 60 days yes. since we first announced or reported the first case uh, in regards to COVID-19. Maybe I will get to know how are you coping with the situation. Uh, on an individual basis, I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm doing uh, slightly good, uh, health wisely that is. Mm -hmm. And on the general, for the general public, I think um, <coughs> most of us are caught up on, uh, on, on, on a very bad economic end. So mm -hmm. uh, on an average, I'd say we are not doing bad. All right. Now, uh, for the 59 days so far, Kenya has tested 32,000 uh, um, people and uh, out of these 672 are uh, said to have COVID-19. We have so many uh, mates out here. We have facts from the Ministry of Health and the World Health Organization. But of course, human is human. They will always have something to say, in, uh, things to do with how to treat it, how to mitigate, how to go around COVID-19. But the government has put stringent measures and stark warnings, especially when it comes to curfew. I remember when they, they, it was said we will have a curfew, uh, people reacted differently the okay majority of the people de reacted differently and they wondered what is really happening and so far now that we have tested over 32,000 tests are in two months are we in a good pace can we say we are managing um, uh, what's really happening especially now that the COVID-19 is spreading in our communities well, if, if you calculate that per the percentage uh, versus the general population, you realize that the, it's very, it's very slim. In fact, we 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 are, we are barely at ten percent of uh, the total tests. So you know that is not a sample good enough to tell us what's going on in uh, in, in in the general economy. But I'd appreciate the efforts of uh, our health workers, especially uh, those on the uh, front row of fighting COVID. Secondly, I really think that um, uh, the myth or the speculation surrounding uh, COVID-19 is due to the fact that we really have very little information out there. Okay. In fact, other than simply COVID-19, sample any 20 people you meet, maybe mm -hmm. only one person might know beyond um, just the terminologies involved, curfew or whatever. So, <laughs> sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, copy <laughs> sanitizer. And, uh, so generally, I think <laughs> I really think we we have very little mm -hmm. information, if any. Mm -hmm. So that b leaves people generally. It's it's it, it's just what uh, the, a human being is all about. If there is anything going out there that you have very little information about, you don't want to speculate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, how would you say we have handled uh, coronavirus since we first reported from the measures that have been put in place, quarantine and isolation, and all those terminologies that. Have have been used and Kenyans are making fun of it. Have we handled it well? Yeah, I must appreciate uh, the efforts of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. well, we have uh, done a better job so far. Mm -hmm. And I really still want to encourage uh, uh, fellow Kenyans that uh, we keep uh, following the health guidelines 
because if we have to defeat coronavirus it is that we have to follow the guidelines to the latter mm -hmm. secondly i think that um a few of us which is a very normal thing being that we are kenyans mm -hmm. are still deviant and that is normal i really don't take <laughs> i don't take any, any we are kenyans Kenyans As means Kenyans, Kenyans. We always love doing things the opposite way. Even in the midst of COVID-19. Exactly. And it's a deadly disease. Trust me, even today, yeah, there are people with guns just shooting people randomly. Mm -hmm. Other Kenyans who are safe somewhere will want to come and know what's going on here. <laughs> so it's, it's a very normal affair to me. Uh, we, yeah. we, we have some um, curiosity um, uh, and things we want to experience. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, how, how, how things have been in the midst of COVID-19. And in this regards, let's talk about politics, especially what happened on Wednesday in Parliament. And uh, just like I was asking you before we uh, began this broadcast, is there a politician really who speaks on their behalf? Because if so-and-so speaks, you, they will say, <laughs> so when when when, when uh, Honorable Junet and Honorable Ambadi they made their uh, sentiments in Parliament, yeah. it was said Baba sent them, and it, it brought a very uh, uh, bad feud between uh, the two uh, fractions in Parliament. Is there an independent politician? Yes, um, there is an independent. Uh no, I think there is an independent leader. I wouldn't say an independent politician. <laughs> uh, that independent leader is me. me. I am very independent. I'm here purely on, 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 on uh, my... Though I'm representing my party as well, but I'm here purely on my... Uh, <laughs> whatever I give here is purely down to me. <laughs> and on what happened on Wednesday, there has been um, a general perception that certain politicians doesn't uh, speak on their own. I don't know what happened to their brains. <laughs> But mm -hmm. I would, uh, I purely believe that what happened the other day was uh, not individual uh, mindset. It mm -hmm. was um, uh, a party affair, and probably the party leader had a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. And I also tend to think that um, it was not handled in the right manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that um, the weeping um, honorable the. Olekina was not um, a very wise affair, being that it's a youth leader and we are looking at um, the youth. Mm -hmm. Though I also tend to believe that um, loyalty is a good thing. You have to be uh, loyal, just not just to your party leader, but to your party and to your people. Mm -hmm. So um, these loyal people won't go to heaven, I keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we talk, uh, <laughs> before we even talk about uh, uh, Honorable Olekina, there were some fundamental issues that were raised by these members of parliament and of which I feel uh, truly they, they, they had a point because people are dying uh, from floods and the floods have killed so many people as compared to COVID-19 right That's now. True. And uh, uh, evacuating these people or moving them to places where they, they will be safer yeah. is of importance. But the question I always ask is, we have uh, chunks of lands lying bare, nothing is happening to them why can't we have these people being moved there permanently and then these areas where they are frequented by landslides and floods we have things to do like planting trees we're looking to having 10 percent of forest coverage in our country why can't we get to that point and giving them this land i'm up here uh, moving them would bring troubles because land is a big issue in this country Hillary, that sentiment is very great and I, I honestly appreciate but now the challenge we have is people with brains are outside the offices people with in the offices lack them the empty you see the fact that we are need we need a 10 percent uh, coverage of forest in kenya is something we've talked about over the years again and again but it can't be affected mm -hmm. because uh like i always uh, believe many of the people we have in offices today Mm -hmm. Either don't know why they are there or ended up there by chance. Understand? We voted them in and they had ideas, by the way. <laughs> um, we believed them. I think we, mo most Kenyans vote the party. We really don't vote people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just vote your party. So after the elections, when you wake up to realize, oh, our party gave us so and so, Nisawa, mm -hmm. ah, we'll, 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 we'll replace him mm -hmm. after five years. Mm -hmm. We'll replace her after five years. Mm -hmm. But 
uh, take West Pokot for example, where we have plants like the Chandevria, Ahero, the, the, the floods. Mm. These are things that have been here with us since time immemorial. So it's not, it's not like it's something new we are waking up to. Mm -hmm. But then we lack strategies. And even if we do have a few, implementation becomes a challenge. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I, I, I think that until such a time that we are going to get serious leadership in place, mm -hmm. Because that is where our problem, all the messages start from there. True, true, true. Yeah. And uh, th th there was also a concern on how the funds have been spent so far in uh, uh, fighting COVID-19. And okay, questions were raised and uh, they were handled. And um, I'm still uh, looking forward to more detail of uh, how uh, things have happened. But anyway, let's still stick to politics. Now, uh, it is believed uh, the what the these members of parliament said uh, president uh, talks to his friend and the problem is about the handshake many of the people feel even after the handshake mm -hmm. it didn't trickle down to those other members of parliament uh you we may have a a development in Kisumu like the port and other areas that have felt like uh, something has been done in terms of roads but they still feel the handshake has not brought so much and that's why some of the cries are coming into parliament and uh, raising jitters on what is really happening why are these people making the, such comments and yet there's a there's a form of a leadership or agreement or a share in leadership <laughs> now, you, uh, let me start by addressing uh, the issue on uh, the finances. Uh, it's unfortunate that when we started this, we started with the phrase that we are just shy of 60 days, mm -hmm. two months. But if you look at um, the figures that you told are already spent on a sample of about 32,000 people, Calculate 32 or 53 million. That is about less than 5 percent. On the first month, people are paying yeah. at their own cost. Exactly. And for the better part of, uh, of, of, of the 60 days, mm -hmm. they already outstretched, angry uh, Kenyan has been taking the burden on themselves. Mm -hmm. So it beats common logic of the, when the figures are tabled that those monies have been spent. Mm -hmm. You're left wondering on who. That is why. Mwananchi. <laughs> who is the Mwananchi? Mm -hmm. Of these 32,000 that have been tested, trust me, over 25,000 of them mm -hmm. have spent their coins up to where we are. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's purporting to have spent 40 billion shillings on, in, in, in less than 60 days on, on a certain group of people, mm -hmm. those groups are imaginary. But it's, we, we, we are in our nation. Mm -hmm. So we understand. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I don't want to be misquoted, but I want us to understand one thing. Mm -hmm. That when it comes to finances in this country, you can't trace them to where they went. Yeah, especially yeah. now that we didn't have uh, the Auditor General. Yeah. We don't have the Auditor General. We don't have anybody to keep, us on, to keep the government accountable. You're looking at... Uh, there is no longer the opposition. There is one being created. It's not yet created. It just and yet. That's, uh, would you so, say that's the biggest problem we have since we do not have the opposition? No, I, I, I even don't think if having an opposition would have. We have had the opposition over the years. It has stopped the plan. Uh, maybe they were not uh, staunch enough. <laughs> uh, uh, Hilary, no, I don't think there, there is going to be a staunch, a, a staunch opposition better than what we've had in the past. I just think we have to create a culture. Mm -hmm. of, um, of, of, of Kenyaism in us. Mm -hmm. Take the US for example. If you've interacted even by the US Marshals, you'll realize that those guys do everything for their country. Everything. Mm -hmm. It's not for the president, not for their leaders, it's for their flag. Until such a point we are going to inculcate that in Kenyans. We are doing nothing. Recently, we are having um, uh, Tottenham Hotspur player, Son Hume, uh taking part in, in his national military training service. It was, it just got out the other day. It was so much of a good thing to see. It's an honor. Mm -hmm. He's doing it, and you're like, exactly, this guy is doing this for the flag of his country. He's not doing it for his president, for the soldier, or who. 
-hmm. So we have to inculcate Kenyaism in us. That is when this plunder will end. And who is going to do that? Me and you. Then what, what, wh why, why can't we do that? What sp I'm stops us? I'm already doing it. If you are not doing it, then, <laughs> then, 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 then you're wrong. Because I, w I, I will monitor, I will speak out. Yeah. But then the action is the problem. We have had projects coming up, good projects, yeah. but the implementation na never comes. We have had good politicians or leaders who have brilliant minds, but once they get into that house, everything is watered. I think uh, if I was to to, to, to to advise someone who wants to buy, I think he should buy on an independent ticket. When you buy on an independent ticket and convince the people and you end up uh, into the house, you're not tied, you're not bound by what your party leader or your party wants. Mm -hmm. The party leader, in most cases today, take a general uh, yeah. sample. Uh, five political parties, take their party leaders. They are people who have been in this country since 1940. <laughs> that they one, know every one corner. Truth. So you claiming that now this part is better, let me get in. Then you, you are still going to carry the ideas of 1940. There is nothing new you are bringing in. Because you are walking into somebody's house, you have to live by, by, by their, 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 their rules in there. So to mean every every problem we have in this country in terms of leadership and governance is based on the or the roots in the parties. That is what I believe, and statistics are shown that research, both research and statistics show the same. <laughs> uh, brilliant leaders walks in, they become something else. Mm -hmm. What uh, General Miguna says, zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so coming in as a independent politician or a leader you vie as an independent don't you think having such a forum we will have so many people trying to vie for the same seat because no one is stopping you anyway uh, ibc is gonna print a, a ballot which has um, 32 uh yeah well, candidates in kibra the other day when i, I ran we were so many in fact uh, originally we were around 40 something people vying for the same uh, seat so for members of parliament 40 president 50 governors 100 no you, you're giving the electorate a problem no you you have to set standards mm -hmm. uh, and guidelines so that at least you cut people out mm -hmm. okay uh Today, we, with the devolution, we think we, we thought originally that um, the the devolve unit would be the strongest, and being that they're the closest to Mwananchi. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, people who ended up being elected in the devolve units are worse than the zombies up in Parliament, mm -hmm. because most of them <laughs> got aligned to a certain governor, mm -hmm. and that is how the story ended. Mm -hmm. They are the closest to Mwananchi, but Mwananchi has never met his or a MCA for like two, three years. Mm -hmm. But they live in the same village. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that is where the problem comes in. But uh, generally, I've also looked at uh, the people who are elected on independent. I, I just think that our problem is not even on, on, on the party. Mm -hmm. Some of the people that we elected on independent, especially MPs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A specific MP used to be what every Kenyan wanted. Mm. He used to investigate ABCD. Ah, this is what. So eh, the, the Moranchi was like, finally, we've got mm -hmm. the guy. When he entered the office, things changed. His. So is it a way to manipulate the electorate or what happens? Uh, have you had a chat with them? Maybe they tell you where. When I got there, I found a, a, a system or. No, they, they, these guys are fighting. I, I understand them uh, perfectly. They're fighting a system that is established, that has power and resources, versus them who only have the brains. Mm -hmm. When they go in there, they realize that they are the last people with resources. So they're like, okay, let me first relax, look for resources, and then I'll come back fight later. That time you relax and look for resources, time elapses, and you realize there's another election. Mm -hmm. And people will throw you out. Exactly. People will throw you out or you'll confuse them again and remain. <laughs> and so you know, you know politicians, you confuse us. Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. Now, um, what would you make of the, uh, the issues that are bedeviling uh, uh, Senator Lekina? Oh, who and Lekina? It's a very, a very, a very brilliant brain. <laughs> and a very good leader per se but again 
you are not going to tackle a problem before you know where it began. Where, where it began. I tend to think the main mistake with Olekina was um, his uh, take on ODM first. Mm -hmm. Today, even if ODM was to disband and come up with something new, it's still ODM just clothed in a different uh, cloth. Mm -hmm. The current ODM is just LDP or whatever came before LDP, but they are clothed in a different thing. Mm -hmm. Right now, the challenges that Olekina is facing as an individual mm -hmm. are good enough. I think they are strengthening him for something better. Mm -hmm. If I was who he is, I wouldn't run into somebody's arm. I'd stand as an individual and fight the battle to the end. Mm -hmm. Go back to the people and tell them this way I've reached the war, please join me. Mm -hmm. yeah. there, there, there have been critics that uh, his ideology right now align with those of a Tanga Tanga team. That is where the problem uh, uh, comes. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that is a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not pro Tanga Tanga. Mm -hmm. But I want you to understand one thing. That yesterday, I don't know uh, how, how, how verifiable that can be, but there's a letter purporting to have both Jubilee and, um, and, and Khan having merged mm -hmm. from the registrar. So, Honestly, I don't need to get misquoted because I have not verified if that letter is genuine or it's just one of the social media propaganda. <laughs> but should it be genuine? <laughs> and with the, the view out here that ODM, can and, uh, and, and Jubilee are soon coming up into one thing. <laughs> Pick my word on this today and you'll take it to the bank someday in the future. <laughs> should such an outfit come up <laughs> versus one side of uh, either Tanga Tanga or somebody coming up with a new outfit. Mm -hmm. The three will not see the light of the day post-2022. Even if they use every resource mm -hmm. that this nation has. Because Kenyans, myself included, mm -hmm. will stand against them. Uh, and the reason would be? The reason would be, this nation, they have proved that they are not good enough. And they are not, it's not going to be something mm -hmm. uh, good that a nation 60 years old is led by three people mm -hmm. over and over and they're not doing anything better we wouldn't have a problem if our lives were better mm -hmm. even if somebody decides to lead all their lives in england we are seeing the queen as at led she's just going to die in power it's understandable because those guys are getting it slightly easy there are structures going on a lot of development mm -hmm. politics 10 percent 90 percent is work in a nation where politics 90 percent and 5% work, and the other 5% you don't know if it is work or politics. Mm -hmm. Why? 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 Uh, would you say that's our state uh, in Kenya? Today? Yeah. Yes. 90% politics, 5% work, 5% you don't know, it's Nikoapo Katikati, work and politics. Yeah, just because uh, be before we came to COVID-19, there were campaigns that were going on uh, regarding the amendment of the constitution and different regions came up with what they feel they want. And some of the problems or the issues that were highlighted by uh, Senator Olekina, mm. I don't know whether he was misquoted, but he tried to defend his sentiment by saying, I'm not tribal. The only thing I was saying was selling land for agriculture, then you turn it to commercial there is a problem because you know you're bringing the population that was his point but people took him on the wrong way but now st standing at this point because i believe he's not the only person maybe people will come to turn around by the time we're fighting COVID 19 do you think you're going back to the politics that were on about mending the constitution post COVID 19 Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there, 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 there have been uh, uh, strong sentiments and um, uh, of course pre-COVID we are having uh, a lot of campaigns uh, stretched on uh, BBI. <laughs> but like you put it, um, and like both research and statistics out here show, mm -hmm. since the handshake, very little if any has trickled down to the uh, monarchy, maybe peace. Mm -hmm. But again, you'll agree with me that um, most Kenyans most Kenyans who are not allied to Tanga Tanga or any other, other, other team mm -hmm. does not see the necessity for a constitutional change mm -hmm. but let's not cover this it's the truth on the ground there the larger majority 
of mm -hmm. Kenyans, about 55% of Kenyans does not see the necessity mm -hmm. for constitutional change because it's not adding value and it's not uh, making life uh, any easier mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I tend to think that post-COVID we are uh, likely to have a resumption of the same campaigns going on, but I, I tend to think they are not necessary. True. Yeah. All right. And some of these issues are putting the president in a quagmire, reason being he has a legacy to leave. He has to bring the economy back to its level or even improve it post COVID 19. And he has something to do with the changing the constitution. He has people already in place. He has a friend in uh, right Honorable Ray Lodinga. He has he has his legacy for the Big Four agenda, and he has a promise to Kenyans, or he has a duty to Kenyans to ensure the economy come 20, 2022 or even twenty twenty one after COVID nineteen, we are in a good state. What is he gonna do first? Nothing. He will just leave. He's not gonna do anything. Like he has not been doing anything, so I really think he's just gonna do continue that. Mm -hmm. We had so we had the big four agenda. When did, when was the big four agenda uh, tabled? Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Tell me any anything on the big four agenda that has reached uh, five percent in implementation. Nothing. Universal health care, affordable uh, housing. Mm -hmm. Right now we just five percent. I'm not talking about ten, twenty, or fifty. Hmm. We have 18 months to the end of President Kenyatta's uh, uh, term. You, 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 it would require Jesus Christ or, 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 or Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. to have 50% of Big Four Agenda completed in the next 18 months. It's not possible. And uh, what would you say are the contributing factors to the failure, as you put it? As I put it, I think uh, pres the president has often got it wrong in most of his appointments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you have uh, serious things to effect, you must get serious minds that can affect them. He attempted that with education at some time with uh, Honorable Matiang, and it worked perfectly. I don't know why he never built his foundation on the same. That I think that's the only appointment in this country that mm -hmm. has limb to the billing mm -hmm. yeah so when you don't get when 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 today you have you want to build a house and you get your tools you put every resource down then you get the wrong uh, architect or the wrong company that wants to build your, your it, it will not happen mm -hmm. the resources will go into waste and in the end you remain homeless that is exactly where president kenyatta finds himself he has got very great ideas. Mm -hmm. The Big Four Agenda was one of the best uh, uh, blueprints in this country. Mm -hmm. In fact, if it had been achieved, say even 60%, we would be very close to, to Agenda 2030. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he put up everything and put everything on the table, but got the wrong, wrong, wrong people to mm -hmm. push it to the next level. That is why. Mm -hmm. So we, ha we are having people in ministries that they don't know nothing about. So you can't, you won't even know there is a problem because you don't understand the problem yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, I think I have heard that statement severally and then the question would be, does it then mean Kenya we do not have competent people? No. In government we don't. In Kenya we do. So, where are they? Where, how can they uh, avail themselves? How can they You can't to avail know? yourself because... Uh, let me let me get you back to to the basics. Mm -hmm. Today you get a job advertised by the PSC. Mm -hmm. Then you want to apply for that job. You will apply for the job. You are very qualified, but you not get the job mostly because you don't have a godfather or you don't have anybody pushing for you mm -hmm. uh, through that. Such kind of uh, uh, structures from the ground because I understand that the president will always want to pick on people he knows. You realize that the people he knows are people who are pushed through levels until up there. Mm -hmm. So they have never been competent. I really tend to think if I was to be the president right now and I was to come up with a cabinet, mm -hmm. I'd come up with a cabinet of only, of, of say, two years, two years. I'd give you a job. Fresh people who have never been seen anywhere on the public. I'd want to come up with 
maybe uh, maybe I go to the institutions and pick uh, individuals that have proven have mm -hmm. track records that this guy has worked here. Still on on the Matiangi blueprint, he had proved his month. Okay, mm -hmm. so you want to pick on him? Go back to because Matiangi couldn't have done that alone. There are people he worked with. I don't want to go down. Um, Jama Alifanya kazi na kinanani. Pick on those guys, give them a timeline and monitor and evaluate. That is the only way. Look at economies that have reached their, 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 their epitomes. Mm -hmm. They are based on competent, hardworking people. Mm -hmm. Not people who would want to be employed today and they want cars. They want government vehicles. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they employ people who can run. Uh, th th that w w w uh, the bottom line would be the corruption. But of course, now the question is, the people who, an example like you put it about uh, working with um, C.S. Machangi, there are people who worked with him. Yeah. But now the question also is, were these people the youth? Where is the youth today? I don't want to, to answer that this way. There is a, 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 allow me to quote um, comedian Eric Omondi. He always says that, um, you know, Luos can't be police because, um, uh, on a lighter note, they can't <laughs> be a policeman because they don't want to take time. And, and, and uh, while there is uh, the college, you just want to ask, there's a problem somewhere. Mm. Hey, runs. The vehicle is coming to find me running. I think those are the kind of people we want to work with going forward in this country. You want people who can. Uh, do we have a problem in Nyando? Yeah. Okay, let's go on the road. If there is a, 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 a chopper that is taking us to Nyando, that chopper will come and pick us up on the road as we go. Mm -hmm. Because there is a, an agency of doing things. Mm -hmm. If you want to effect change, you must do it with people who see the agency in necessitating mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. That is the only way you are, go you are going to have things happening. Mm -hmm. So we have to bring up the youths. But again, which youths? Remember, we have youth in parliament today. Mm -hmm. Parliamentarians who are youthful. Very. Or say young. Mm -hmm. But they're also not doing any much. Mm -hmm. So we are not going to simply say we are going to look at the amorphous youth. We are going to pick on certain youth who can have things happening. All right. Actually, yeah. after this break, we will come back there, pick it from the young parliamentarians uh, that are there and what is happening to them. Did they find an established system that they cannot do any good to us? They have done something, but of course, we will always feel uh, things are not okay. We take a very short break and we'll be back soon. Keep it white. Two five four. Good morning. and thank you so much for keeping us a company this is why in the morning we are talking about uh, politics in the midst of uh, COVID-19 and so much is happening from right in the parliament to politics outside here and now we want to go back into parliament our young parliamentarians and uh, my guest Donna Nacklet is a politician or political analyst as well. He is telling me people go there and find an established system. What changes them? Do they get baptized again? <laughs> <coughs> well, I just say that they get baptized again. Into they enter the house and realize that uh, there is an establishment that has been there over the years mm -hmm. uh, versus a people. And then you know the challenge again. Let me let me let me start from where it begins. You ever been to a group where you're the youngest? Yeah, yeah. The group always tends to take over you, unless you are mentally strong, which is also a, a problem most of the youth face. The young are supposed to be seen not hard. Yeah. They get into the house, they realize that uh, people of his age or the people he can associ associate with mm -hmm. are less than 20 in a house of over 300 people. So he has now to start uh, associating and relating with the old. 
and they all have a set of uh, rules, sets of social norms that they have followed over the years. Look at the Kenyan parliament today. You realize that more than a half of the parliamentarians are people who've been there since 1970s. Mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. They have had a norm and uh, a social way of doing things. So you come in with the fresh brain, energy, uh, the agility, then you realize that it's you versus them. Mm -hmm. So you, you're like, okay, uh, let me just join what's going on. So I think that that is one problem that is facing our young parliamentarians. Secondly, mm -hmm. which is major, is resources. They lack resources. Or to resources to do what? Resources, uh, um, uh, let me call them resources, social resources. Mm -hmm. Normally, people want to associate, not just in Kenya, anywhere across the world, people want to associate with people like them. Mm -hmm. If you are a professor, you will not go and collect a group of, of maybe drunkards, unless you're also a drunkard, and then just associate with them. So when our parliamentarians get into parliament, they realize that they're the poorest mm -hmm. among that group of, of, of others. So veterans. The, <laughs> the veterans will automatically want to control them. Mm -hmm. The unanini mm -hmm. uh, kind of a question. Okay. So that also subdues them. Intimidation, right. Yeah, get intimidated, subdued, and they're like, okay, let me work uh, for my people half while I have I'm busy looking for mm -hmm. resources. All right. Secondly, we're also thinking of, of the next election. Okay? And the next election doesn't require maybe work, it requires resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, the, first, the first term of your leadership is to stock. That is what they are doing, but it's not what should be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, do you feel them that are there, they have done something? The last three years? Uh, depends on what something here means, <laughs> but they have done very little, if any. Mm, in terms of the bill that will favor their uh, young counterparts very out little, here? If any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, still the intimidation factor takes effect? No. But it's just failure on their own part. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when they were being voted, they had ideas. The ideas disappeared when and they were voted. And I, 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 I believe the, uh, the house is open to everyone to come up with a motion. Yes. So that, that purely is failure on their part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, they have nothing to offer. Right? They have nothing to offer. Okay. Um, let's talk about what is happening or what will be happening later in the day or maybe it's going on right now. Uh, the president is said to meet uh, senators of the Jubilee Party and uh, some of the critics feel he will be rewarding and punishing. And uh, someone, okay, they have been speaking so much about uh, Senator Murkom and they feel he's one of the people who will be de-whipped. What do you make of the happenings? I am one who, um, who tends to believe that uh, politics or leadership uh, of speculation is not a good thing. Right now, I really don't have much um, information about uh, what's going on. I'm just uh, basing my arguments on uh, a few information on social media and mainstream media, of course. Mm -hmm. But I tend to think that um, politics generally is based on three things. And mark my word, politics. I didn't say leadership. Mm -hmm. I said politics, politics is based on three things. Mm -hmm. uh, rewards, punishment, mm -hmm. and betrayal. Mm -hmm. Whatever is happening uh, at uh, State House this morning, if and only if it's politics, then it's revolving around the three things. If it's leadership, then maybe a different thing. <laughs> but I tend to think that um, a lot of political alignments are taking place in the country and more are expected to come. Mm -hmm. And um, politicians that are uh, viewed to not want to align themselves with um, the establishment mm -hmm. <coughs> will find themselves purged. Their names will be uh, expanded from, 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 from the political uh, space. Mm -hmm. And you've seen uh, Honorable Ekin has become the first to face the axe. Mm -hmm. Expect uh, Senator Honorable Murkomen and a few others who are viewed to not take uh, the side of, uh, of the establishment to face the axe soon. Mm -hmm. It might not be today, but it looks increasingly like you know, something interesting happened last week uh, and a couple of weeks ago we had uh, some problems in the Jubilee party and uh, 
it is believed it's tearing of the numbers in the same house. People would feel uh, the DP has good number, but then this, uh, the other side, the president had numbers. When it came to reality, a good example is when uh, a former governor, Waititu, was impeached. He believed he has favor with the Jubilee House. But it so happened uh, the handshake contributed to his downfall and now it's believed still the same numbers came to what happened in the uh, new leadership that was being fronted in the jubilee party do you think at this point truly truly uh, the dp has numbers politically speaking well i i, I think um i think that um, the term numbers is very relative mm -hmm as has been proved by the Kenyan politician. The DP might have numbers, but there is something called Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And what is called Jubilee today is Kanu, ODM, and a half of, 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 of the original Jubilee. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that means uh, the DP doesn't have numbers. He retains the other half, which again, uh, one or two or three others have been so much intimidated and probably either crossed over or just don't want to get involved. Mm -hmm. So I think if anything were to happen today mm -hmm. that requires numbers and it pits uh, Honre Buhuru Kenyatta versus Honre Buhuru, mm -hmm. Buhuru will always carry the day because he'll simply walk to his brother Ray and tell him, please bring more numbers. <laughs> Honre Buhuru Moy, please bring numbers. Mm -hmm. And that way you'll win. Yeah, that is why I really feel so sorry for uh, Senator Murkomen. And if at all uh, the rumors on social media are anything to go by, mm -hmm. he's facing the axe. Uh, and uh, would, you, would you say Jubilee has made inroads in ODM? Had. They had made inroads. Long, as, long, as soon as, um, as uh, the handshake was complete, mm -hmm. ODM became part of Jubilee. And, and in the same spirit, do, do, do you think uh, the DP has made inroads in the same? In ODM? Yes. No. Uh, he's Jubilee? No. And he has people who believe... He is a half of Jubilee. Okay. So the, there's no way things might change. I, I, I saw a certain comment on social media, and just like you're putting it, if it's anything to go by. Yeah. Someone just tweeted... Uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta is good in uh, keeping his word. Uh, he promised, his promise to Kanu came to be, uh, like we are, uh, it's being alluded in, in social media. And uh, now, if he said kumi yangu kumi yako, then even that one will be fulfilled. What do you make of that? Like I said, there are two aspects of this country today in terms of the big wings this leadership and politics. <laughs> And when it comes to politics, it's politics of reward, mm -hmm. politics of uh, punishment, and politics of betrayal. Mm -hmm. Those are the three aspects of, of politics we are seeing. So I tend to think that um, replying on to that tweet, I'd still uh, allude to the same. Mm -hmm. The president might reward Ruto for the loyalty. He might punish him in one way or the other, or simply betray him. We've mm -hmm. seen that in the past. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can't purport to speak uh, about or on the future, but I think that as we as we wind up mm -hmm. uh, in your own lenses, the three uh, aspects you've mentioned. What is the likelihood of either happening? The likelihood, um, I'd go with the betrayal. I think one person. <laughs> between Honorable Raila Odinga and Honorable William Bruto is facing that. Mm -hmm. It looks increasingly likely that it is not uh, uh, Honorable Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we, we, when we speak about betrayal, you will remember back in 2007, uh, are these some of the things that the, maybe the president would consider having the DP on his side and uh, remembering what happened that time and this time what will happen. Is it something that the president would consider? No. Mm -hmm. It's not because, um, you know, President Kenyatta's first term 
was mad by a lot of issues because they didn't have Raila on board. And I think that also showed him one thing, that having Root on board, um, for example, didn't have much value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in terms... He, I, I think his view is, if I had this guy on my side for the first time and still we were facing huge backlash, probably it's not what he thinks. So somebody, I think, advised him that bring Raila Odinga on board. Mm -hmm. And with that, he's realized that he's at peace. <laughs> oh, and as such, oh, then would we say he was he was uh, selfish to make a decision to have a rail on board that he may have peace for him to work? Exactly. He was. He is even right now. But in return, has brought uh, differences and rift in his own house. And he has realized that the rift in his own house uh, can easily. You, you know, you can always contain your own house as long as you are, the image out there is, is, is that there is peace in your house. Whatever is happening, you can always de de people within. within. If you're a father, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You can always turn your kid up and down. But when you go out there, people say, ah, those kids are very disciplined. But you went on your issues mm -hmm. in there. So I, I, I tend to think that um, the president was uh, very categorical in, while he didn't speak it clearly, but mm -hmm. actions speak louder than words. And actions right now shows that there is a likelihood mm -hmm. that Deputy President William Ruto is alone. Mm -hmm. Of course, with Kenyans. He's not alone, but he's with Kenyans. <laughs> but he's not with... Yeah, <laughs> with, 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 uh, and maybe yeah. his own God is with yeah, him. God, anyway. yeah, Kenyans. <laughs> and Kenyans. And, uh, you will always ha have someone to support you. Anyway, uh, that's what is happening in the political arena and the still COVID-19. I would need your final comments. Uh, uh, my final comments would be, uh, first I'd want to thank you and the establishment for bringing such a platform. You know, when we engage daily, we know we learn, uh, and Kenyans too learn. And uh, dear Kenyans, we are in the midst of a war with microbes, and that is uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. I would sincerely encourage each and every Kenyan to stay put. Uh, follow the government guidelines and ensure that uh, you are keeping safe so that we are able to defeat um, uh, the enemy. Uh, secondly, on uh, still back to fellow Kenyans, uh, right now every Kenyan is in a mess because of uh, COVID. Ensure that you are keeping tabs on your on your friends. Don't let them go hungry if you have slightly more than you can eat at a particular time. Ensure you divide for again for people who are hungry and to fellow kenyans again who are in regions that are currently facing uh, huge uh, weather uh, uh, issues landslides and 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 uh, uh, and uh, uh, i mean floods for mine please stay safe stay strong we are going to defeat that uh, too and uh, thank you so much for taking time to be with us on this show all right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Don, for coming and sharing your comments. Now, back home, thank you so much for keeping us a company. I'll be seeing you again in an hour to bring uh, some updates in regards to COVID-19. And just a reminder, by yesterday, the government or the Minister of Health had tested 32,097 samples of which by yesterday uh, for 1056 samples 23 turned positive of COVID-19 the number now stands at 672 we'll be uh, waiting to hear what happened later in the day during the daily updates of COVID-19 the call is stay home if you can wash your hands with water and soap uh, regularly and sanitize if you're out here uh, observe a social distance and ob also still observe the coughing and sneezing etiquette that is very much important and if you have flu-like symptoms please quarantine yourself for 14 days the government keeps on saying this and if you feel like uh, things are not okay you can always seek medical advice and again a call that has been um, under monthly and repeatedly made is Please visit your medical facilities. We have other diseases that we need to cure as a nation. There is malaria, there's other conditions that we need to look into. Don't fear hospitals. Uh, the government has assured us that the, these facilities are safe. So 
please check on other areas of life. It's not just about COVID-19. There are areas we need to consider as a nation. For now, have a very good morning and see you in a bit. My name is Dereva Hillary.